Hi, welcome back. So, in this session, we will discuss about segments for IDOC and uh, what is the basic difference between WE30 and WE31? Why we need in real time SAP ECC or S4 HANA? Okay. So, we are going to see the transaction WE30 and WE31. Okay. Let's go to the SAP system now. So, WE31. So, before that, I would like to show you one thing. I'll try to find out any old IDOC. So you know very well, right? So this is invoice IDOC, which is got generated. So it has three parts like control record, data record. Data record, which is part of your segments, segments is going to have multiple fields. On existing segment, you can able to create uh, the custom fields or else custom fields means new fields. For example, in an invoice, you don't find order reason. So if you'd like to create order reason, you have to create a segment. Where is the order reason is available? Order reason is available in, um, in sales order, credit memo or else sales order. Okay, so if this is the case, then order reason, how I can able to bring it back? That is the target. Okay, like that, if you take any standard field or custom field, you can able to bring it on here. Either you can able to add custom segment. Okay, so what generally evapers will do? If you give the requirement, if you want like this, order reason, I'm just showing you, probably we cannot able to create it. Okay, we don't have full license. So, for example, okay, segment ORD, Z, ORD, RS. Suppose if I would like to create this, the segment, okay, under segment, I am going to give the my field name, okay. So, so order reason i cannot able to create it properly like you know we require access key in real time or else now also okay so a b g r u let's see so let's take the cat okay so let's try to save with this processor by and the person responsible it is asking it is asking access key so basically what i would like to say you don't do we don't actually do this work being a functional consultant. Segments, who is going to create? It is created by your ABAP actually. Okay. So just wanted to show what is the basic advantage of uh, this uh, uh, WE31 second. Let me come out of this. We cannot save this. Okay. Let's cancel this. Okay. So now you understood what is WE31. Okay. So now let's try to go to WE30. Okay. So by using object name means any item. Suppose if you'd like to extend or else if you'd like to copy existing item. So for extension, you would like to copy your item type. Okay. You know NY02, same thing I'm taking. Okay. So let's try to create it. Okay. So Let's take, let's take this one as a copy, okay. Copy from, okay. So let's do one thing. We'll take, you know, 0 to or 0 1. You can take anything, okay. New G invoice. For retail or something, okay. I'm just giving it is uh, just for test only, right? You can copy like this, okay. Along with this, 
whatever the segments you are created in WA31, you can able to add here. Let's say this. Uh, I think it is there. Okay. Some errors are there. That's why it is not allowing because uh, we don't have access key. We don't have other stuff. That's why it is not allowing. This is actually the basic advantage of WE30. So generally what happens in interview, they don't ask for function consultants. Suppose if you are going for an interview like EDA or IDA consultant, you must know basic knowledge. If you don't use these transactions, but you must have the basic knowledge about this one. Okay. So what you are What you can able to do is here I have a course uh, for complete IDO setup for functional point of view. Okay. So segments and all I didn't create it, but I covered almost uh, four scenarios. In future, I'm going to add one more scenario with performance advice also. How to generate it. Okay. So you can give a try about this course to face interviews with full confidence. Okay. You can try this course. Okay. Apart from that, other courses also available, pricing and pricing in depth. And these two courses are must. If you really wanted to grow yourself as a consultant in the market, getting master to write functional specification. This is, you keep this one as a backup course. You already try on SD, but this is 105 hours. Definitely it's not like your institution level. You will get very good inputs and out of my experience. Okay. So that's all for today. Thanks for joining the session. So I think you found the difference. Why we require? Because I'm telling you, from, I'm just telling you, either invoice or sales order or a decider, delivery IDOC, certain information you're supposed to send to external system. Okay. Here, PA or XA will receive the information. Sometimes, um, what happens uh, uh, in that uh, structure, actually, they require all these fields. They don't bother whether you are working on orders. IDOC or Dev IDOC or else invoice 0 to IDOC or invoice 0 1 IDOC. So I have explained everything. Better try my Udemy course so that you know you'll get an idea. But you must know this. See, our see if I if I can able to create with the help of access key the segment or else IDOC type also. So there is a lot of things actually. Extension type we need to add in partner uh, profile. And uh, on top of it, you have to write some coding actually. I'm not from coding background, but I can work with MVAPs and I can give the logics functionally how I want it. In future, I will add some custom fields functional logic where I work in my course. There you will get some knowledge about that. Thank you so much. Have a great day.